I want to share a thought with you in honor of Father's Day. This Father's Day for me is going to be very different than last year. And it all began with a story at JFK Airport. Last summer, as I was saying goodbye to one of my six daughters who was going to study in Jerusalem for a year, I wondered what would be the last words that I would share with her before she got on the plane. Have a great year. Don't forget to write. Maximize your time. But then out of the corner of my eye, I saw an image that struck me. I saw a father taking his two hands and placing them on the hands of his daughter. And I knew that he was invoking at that moment the priestly blessing, the blessing in Jewish tradition in which we invoke that God should protect you and watch over you. God should shine his face upon you and God should grant you peace. And I sensed at that moment that is what I wanted to share with my daughter before she left for 10 months abroad. I took her aside, I looked into her eyes, I invoked that blessing and gave her a hug. But then as I was leaving the airport and she was getting on the plane, it struck me. That meaningful moment was so connected to the way that I felt that I wanted to find a way to give all of my daughters blessings every Friday night. But I had a challenge. In Jewish tradition, many fathers give their children blessings every Friday night, but in my home growing up, we only had the tradition of giving that blessing on the eve of Yom Kippur the Day of Atonement, the holiest day of the year. And it wasn't so simple for me to begin a new tradition because I wanted to keep the traditions of my parents. So then I decided that I would give my father a call. I gave my dad a call, he's living in Israel today. And I asked him what I should do. On the one hand, I wanted to stay loyal to his tradition. On the other hand, I felt I wanted to give the blessing. And he shared with me words that I would never forget. He said to me, I wish I had given you and your siblings a blessing every Friday night. If you have a chance every week to look your child in the eyes, to invoke this blessing, and to give them a hug, it's something you definitely should do. And from that time on, I began every Friday night giving my children that blessing. And the meaning of that moment was an eternal bond that I cherish every day. What does it mean to be a father? To be a father means to live inspired. To be a father means to have a sense of humility, to sometimes admit when we make a mistake. And to be a father means to give our children blessings. The story doesn't end there. When I shared this story with my congregation, I received an email on Saturday night. And on Saturday night, one of my congregants said to me, you know what? Your father can still give you a blessing. He remains your father, and you remain his son. So a few days later, I called my father, and I think he was taken a bit by surprise. I said, would you be willing to give me a blessing every Friday night? It was a little more complicated, because now I was in America, and he was in Israel. But then he said he would. And now every Friday morning, I give him a call. And although it's 6,000 miles away, he invokes a blessing that transcends space, and I remain his son, and he remains my father. From one generation to the next, we as fathers have responsibility to seize every moment, to live inspired and turn a moment that can be transient into a moment of eternity, to admit sometimes as fathers when we make mistakes to express a great sense of authenticity, and finally every week to make sure we take the time to look our children in the eyes, to invoke the blessings that inspire them, that remind them of our dreams and aspirations and their inner potential. And God willing, in this way, we will achieve that generational blessing from one generation to the next and be the fathers that we were meant to be. Happy Father's Day to you and your families.